guys welcome back to my channel it has been two weeks since i filmed and uploaded a video i've missed it actually i've had a busy and non-busy couple of weeks that i would love to talk to you guys about it has been on my mind for quite a while obviously um and i wanted to talk to you about what i've been dealing with and what i've been going through and yeah thank you if you've clicked on this video today it's probably not you know a title that you want to like go check out it's not fun I guess but um yeah if you're you're struggling with something too you're more than welcome to come and hang out with me and yeah I'm gonna share what I've been going through and I would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know any problems that you guys are having or if you're dealing with similar things um yeah it's just nice to connect with people that like understand you especially when you've never met it's kind of crazy how everyone's connected and so many people are feeling the same way so yeah how do i start this so obviously i've been struggling with anxiety for quite a long time i'm gonna say five six years probably it's gone it's like a roller coaster like anxiety for me is a roller coaster sometimes it's really bad and sometimes it's okay and i can deal with it but it got to a point where it was something that was was on my mind daily for years, I would say. Um, and yeah, spoke to my parents about it, Tariq obviously, and I think we, you know, we decided that, well not we, my, my, my dad kind of encouraged me to try and talk to a psychiatrist and see if I needed to be medicated because he's like there's this is no way to live like how i'm living and just talk to someone see if you know you need medication or if it's something that you can you know get over it and it's just like you know sorry if i blabber this whole time this is kind of like not a therapy session but kind of just like me venting to you guys about what's been going on i do have a therapist i have a therapy meeting in about like an hour but yeah this is me just showing you guys and telling you guys what has been going on mentally in my life so yeah about i think a month ago now almost a month ago i did go to a psychiatrist and i spoke to the woman and she said that i had generalized anxiety disorder and that explains everything um i thought i had something else but i guess it's not as extreme as i thought i guess i was obviously thinking it was more extreme than it was. Um, generalized anxiety disorder is not just like general, like regular anxiety. It's a little different. It's something that you struggle with daily. Um, it, I hate talking about certain things, but um, this has come from like a past experience that I had um, four years ago, maybe. This is really hard to explain. Really, I'm trying to explain how I'm feeling and yeah, I'm about to have a therapy session soon so I don't want to like psh, my head, but yeah, I basically was struggling with it every day. It was hard to leave the house sometimes. Um, I thought I had agoraphobia, but my therapist and the psychiatrist said that I don't, it's not that extreme. Um, I still leave the house. Um, I'm not like freaked out of going out outside, but yeah, I do have those anxiety moments. Can't really do many things by myself. I think the reason, I know the reason for all of this is because of COVID. Um, COVID kind of ruined my life as I'm sure, it didn't ruin my life. I'm still, I still have a fantastic, wonderful life. I'm grateful for so many things that I have. Um, but yeah, it did, it did affect me heavily in COVID. And that's when everyone started working remote. Yeah, I, I think my career has made me struggle the most because a lot of my work, if not, no, not all of it, a lot of my work, like 95% of my work is remote. So I am home every day. Um, and that has contributed to me feeling more isolated from everyone and not wanting to go out. Um, and yeah, so basically, talked to a psychiatrist and they suggested Lexapro. And so my thing was I never wanted to take medication. I was like, I'm strong enough, my brain is strong enough, I can, you know, do it on my own, I can make my own decisions and like make 
you know, change my brain because really who's affecting it is me. So I thought by taking medication, I was like giving up on like trying for myself. And I, I never really wanted to take medication. I think medication scared me. I don't know if you feel this way and you're, if you're someone who's hesitant on taking medication, um, I was definitely feeling that way and very anxious. Um, but yeah, I have been taking Lexapro for um, probably a month now, so, uh, close to a month, maybe three weeks. I've been taking Lexapro. I started with five milligrams. Um, the regular amount, like the, the starting dose is 10 milligrams, but I'm on five right now. I have four days left of the five and I think I'm gonna transition to the 10 on this weekend, sometime this weekend. So um, I am a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, from five to 10, my therapist and my psychiatrist said that there shouldn't be a major um, change, but I am still a little bit anxious about it. That's something I will all, blah, blah. I'm blabbering so much. I have so much to say and not enough time. I'm so sorry if I'm boring you guys, but I want to get everything in also. So basically, I did not want to take medication. I decided to try it and I filmed the first two times that I took it and I wanted to share them with you because I was freaking out. I'm someone who like, if you tell me something's going to work, I'm like, like Lexapro is gonna work, I'm like, hell no. And I take it and I'm like, oh, this is not working. I'm the person with, you know, that it's not gonna work for and I'm freaking out and it's making me worse. So basically I'm just making it worse for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you the two videos of me taking it. One of them was the night before my sister's wedding and the second one was my sister's wedding night at dinner um, and yeah. Watch those and then I'll explain something after. There's definitely 30 in there. No, there's not. There's 100% 30 in there. I'm 29 now. Why is this the smallest thing of all time? No, no. I Come need on, to, just do it, Daniel. I need, need it full. You don't have time. You're going to spill it. You don't have time. It's not the exact time. My body doesn't know what time. Mm -hmm. Look how fucking tiny it is. I don't think too much about that. Just do it now, quick. I'm thinking too much about it. Just take it, you're done. Like way too much. Just take it, please. Just get done with it, please. <laughs> Just be done with it. Don't listen Can to you me. not speak to me don't right now? To Just take it. Just take it. Just take it, please. Just don't worry about it. Get it done with. Get it done with. Get it done with. Just keep stop laughing. Stop laughing. Let me just hit over it. Just take it. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like pass out by the end of the night. Literally. I'm gonna shit. It doesn't taste good. I can eat, I can taste it. It's not candy, so it's not supposed to taste good. Otherwise, kids would pop them for candy. I'm so dramatic. Literally. I'm gonna work like within the okay, today. So sure something. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> How are the brownies? Yeah. It's pretty good. Good. I'm it's my sister's wedding day. So yeah, I over exaggerated a lot on the first one. I started to get more used to it like a week after taking them. Like, okay, I'm going to be taking this like all the time. So the fourth night, there's so much to explain. I was struggling with some side effects. Um, you definitely feel like you can feel nausea, you can feel dizziness. Um, I, my acid reflux was crazy. Um, and I randomly woke up, I think it was the fourth night I was taking it because I was taking it at nighttime. So the fourth night I took it, I woke up in the middle of the night like immediately woke up and had a panic attack 
and I was freaking out. I woke up to reek and I was, you know, not doing well. I thought I was going to pass out. I kept telling him I'm going to pass out. I'm just letting you know I'm going to pass out. That's one of my like fears. It just like I've done it once. It was years ago, probably a decade ago, if not more. And I just never want to experience that again. So I think that's like the worst case scenario, you know, in like an anxiety provoking scenario. People are like, what's the worst that can happen? For me, it's I don't want to pass out. It's just not that it's not a good feeling, you know, you know, I need some goddamn water. I'm talking too much. I woke up in the middle of the night and then I feared that I was going to feel that way every other night. So I started to panic and my mom was doing some research because I don't want to research anything and like freak myself out. She decided to look it up and see if, you know, nocturnal panic attacks were a thing and they were. And so I started to freak out. I'm, I'm someone who has no problem sleeping. I always had the best time sleeping, no problem, eight plus hours, I was good, you know? That was the one thing I was like, fine with. And I was like, oh hell no. If this pill is gonna make me not sleep, I don't wanna take it. So I heard that it's not smart sometimes to take it at nighttime. It's better to take it in the morning. So I did end up skipping one night and then changing it to the morning and I have felt so much better, but I did have a couple of other panic attacks or minor panic attacks um, the following week, so the second week. Um, and this was what I was afraid the most of. I was, I didn't want any side effects. I'm like, how, you know the saying, it can get worse before it gets better. Like that was something I did not want to experience and I was freaking out about it. And yeah, it kind of, kind of happened. It kind of got worse. I was definitely having more panic attacks than I have ever, like in one week or two weeks. And I was like, maybe this just isn't for me. Yeah, I spoke to my psychiatrist again and she was a little bit concerned about why I was having so many panic attacks. But then she was like, you're probably just psyching yourself out. Like it's not working yet and you just, you're not letting it work and you're just over analyzing every single thing that I was doing, which is very true. And she was like, are there any positive things? And I was like, yeah, I went to the grocery store by myself and I actually felt good. Like these are the kind of things that I wasn't used to doing um, by myself and feeling good about it. Like I would go to a grocery store by myself and kind of like freak out and wanna get in there, get everything I needed and then get the fuck out of there because I was so scared of just, I don't know, I don't know what it was. That's, you know, generalized anxiety disorder. It's just like everything at all times for no reason. So you can tell how that can fully affect my life. But yeah, my birthday weekend, I was taking it for like two weeks at that point. And I went out to dinner that night, which is something I usually do. And you know, will panic sometimes or feel uncomfortable. I felt so good that night. When I spoke to my psychiatrist again, she said that if I'm still having panic attacks, um, that I should probably just stop taking it and find another medication for myself. Um, but if they subside and you're feeling great, then we will stay on the five milligrams. But if, you know, the panic attacks subside, but you aren't feeling any different, you're feeling kind of similar to how you were before. Um, I knew this was gonna happen. My mother is calling me, hold on. Um, I don't know where I left off, but I'm gonna continue with saying that, where was I saying? If my panic attacks subside and I don't feel any better and I feel much more like I did before I took Lexapro, then I should bump it up to 10. I think I'm gonna have to start taking the 10 because while there are some good days, I don't feel like there's been a drastic change yet. Um, but it is interesting. I do have a lot of things going on for the rest of this week. Um, it is fashion week this week, which is gonna be the next vlog, which I'm really excited about filming because um, there's gonna be a lot going on. Hopefully I get enough content of everything um, because I do have to work too. I have to get content for Samira. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited about that. We're gonna go to a show and I'm, I'll be taking content of her prior to some of the shows, so yeah i'm super excited about that but i'm this is stuff that i'm like anxious about so hopefully this week goes well um i have high expectations not high expectations i have 
good positive vibes for this week. It is a little nerve wracking because I've never been to an actual show, but yeah, being backstage and like seeing what's going on, I think this is the kind of stuff that I would want to be doing if, you know, I lived freaking anxiety free. So I'm very excited about it and to see new people and see what everyone's wearing this freaking winter New York Fashion Week. I have a few outfits planned. Um, although I'm not going to like major things, I'm only going to one show, but um, I did want to go into the city with, you know, cool outfits just because everyone's going to be wearing cool outfits. So I don't want to be the oddball out, but I'm going to keep it like chill, more probably like office chic vibes, you know, make me look more like adult. But yeah, let me get back to the conversation of the anxiety and Lexapro. Um, basically, if you guys are thinking about taking medication and you're freaking out, I completely, completely, completely understand. It was very nerve-wracking for me. I never thought I would actually do it. Um, and yeah, it's funny because there's not like a stigma really behind taking medication anymore. Like you may think there is, but there really isn't. Like when I started taking it and I would tell my friends or I would tell, you know, like my sister's friends, everyone's taking, not everyone, but like a lot of people are taking stuff and it's so normal now. Like you speak to anyone, they're like, oh cool, you're taking medication, which one? Like that's what I took last year and now I'm taking this or whatever. It's like, I used to think like, ugh, like I don't want to do anything to like get me by, but it's like, why? If something's gonna help me, then let it help me, you know? I never wanted that like push or like help from like anything or anyone. But now I'm, yeah, now I'm doing it. Um, I am going to update you guys, like, when I take the 10 milligrams. If you guys have any questions ever, let me know if this is, like, months ago that you're watching this video. Um, yeah, check in. I'll check in with you guys if you guys have questions. And this is something I wanted to share with you guys on this platform. And, you know... I want to hear from you guys. Have you guys taken anything? Are you taking anything? Are you thinking about taking anything? Is anyone else struggling with GAD? It is a struggle, but hopefully I'm praying that Lexapro is like the best thing ever and I'm still gonna, you know, live my life hopefully and start living the way I want to live. I've been held back for years now, um, not doing the things that I probably want to do, but I think I don't want to do because I'm anxious. Yeah, anxiety can fucking ruin lives and it it's just sad. I'm too young to be, you know, confined in my, um, my little, you know, safe home. I want to be out there, you know, exploring, learning, experiencing new things with the people I love who, you know, used to do those things with me. I don't know why I thought for weeks that I would film this video and start crying, but you know, if I did film this two weeks ago, I probably would cry, but I'm feeling, you know, it's always doom, doom, doom. So like, you know, next week I might not feel great, but today, this week, I'm feeling up, I'm feeling energized, I have so much going on, and I think that that's another thing. My therapist recently said that, am I depressed or am I just bored? I don't think I'm depressed, I think she was saying that I'm very, like, environmentally based, like, how the weather is and what the things around me really affect how I go about the day. It's finally been sunny, it was cloudy all last week. Everyone was feeling off last week. Everyone I spoke to was feeling off. So yeah, it could have been the weather, but it could have just been me not having anything to do and not anything prepped. I am, I think I'm getting another job. So I have like four jobs at the moment, but yeah, this is a hobby of mine. Um, I love talking to you guys and I love sharing what my journey is like. I like to watch these videos later on in life and to see like what I was going through at a specific time in my life. Hopefully this year is amazing for me. I can see positivity in the future. I can see it. I just, yeah, I just hope, I just hope this is a good year for me. Um, a lot of blabbering. I'm so sorry if this was even confusing or um, just a whole boring, bunch of boring chit chatter. I'm glad I got to share this with you guys and yeah hopefully I will check back in with you guys about this specific topic soon but next vlog will be the fashion week vlog. I'll share with you guys what I did and how I prepped for it and all of that. I'm super excited for that vlog and 
yeah if you guys have any questions don't forget to let me know in the comments below so thank you guys so much for watching oh my god i need a breather again i've literally just chatted for like 30 minutes straight um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you very soon bye